Hey guys, what's happening? Like I said in the last video, I have a bunch of footage that I shot before the fire, so I'm gonna edit everything and post a few videos, and this one is the very first one, so I hope you enjoy. The house is still burnt down. Enjoy. All right, so today is filled with random things that we're gonna do here around the house. One of the things I have to do is change the oil on uh, my wife's car, on the Prius, and I don't know if I'm gonna film that because it's not that exciting and it's mostly underneath the car. But one of the other things that we need to do is organize the garage because currently it looks like this and there is just tons of junk. This is wood from the guest house and it needs to be gone through still has tons of nails. I need to pull all those out. So once all the nails and everything are off of the boards and they're cleaned up a bit, I can stack them over with the other ones and then I'll store them there until it's time to make the lap joints here on the table saw um, before I take them over to uh, install them on the house. I just finished sharpening the little Tanaka saw. This saw is amazing. Uh, I think you guys have seen me use it a bunch of times, but it is great for small limbs and, um, you know, getting up in a tree. What I did just now was sharpen it with one of these. These are the fur for per for something uh, steel chainsaws they have the same exact one they the only difference is that they are orange and white these are blue this is the company that manufactures the ones for steel i really like using these especially when i'm using the big saw with the uh, alaskan chainsaw mill attached to it i don't have to take apart the whole mill i don't have to do anything you leave the chain on the bar and you just use this you guys saw me use it uh, it takes less than 10 minutes, probably five minutes to sharpen the saw. And 
I would highly recommend it. This is not sponsored by any means. I bought all of these and turns out I have three different chainsaws and three different chains. So they needed their own sharpener. So I have the three different ones and I just labeled them here uh, for the different saws that I have. But this is a 3 16 This one is a 7 32nd. And the little Tanaka saw is a 5 32nd. Um, but again, well worth it. Takes no time at all. Got them nice and sharp, razor sharp. Well, that was really cool. My awesome neighbor Paul has been incredibly helpful and he's always willing um, to give me advice and lend me tools and things and today he let me borrow his tractor and I was able to pretty much just flatten out. We still had a bunch of spots um, on the driveway that were not there were still potholes and things we had just carpeted the whole thing with some gravel but um it was really nice to have the tractor and just i was able to you know back drag a bunch of it and um use the blade a little bit i wasn't really great using the blade it was my first time i'm sure if i used it more i'd be able to figure it out but um <clears throat> back dragging works really well so got the whole driveway flattened out i drove on it with the truck to go um, grab some diesel for the tractor and <laughs> it's so much smoother than it was before um, so it is great to drive on it and now i guess we're just waiting for the rain once the rain hits it will you know compact with the rain and driving on it with the cars we'll be able to compact it some more um, and just make it even that much better to drive on All right, I have spent the last three and a half, maybe four hours cleaning up here in the guest house. You probably can't tell, but there's not any more acorns hidden in places. There are no more straggler insulation bits. There is nothing but bare wood and it looks good to me. So the next step from here is gonna be to pull up all of the subfloor. The subfloor, there's probably some pieces that are good, but I think that there are quite a few that are weak, they're bendy. The other thing is, I have a feeling, just because of how old this building is, that it's probably not very level. So what I'm gonna do is pull up all of the subfloor I'll be able to see exactly what's going on under the house here.
before I remove the subfloor, I just realized I want to get rid of the rest of the windows. Now, before I put in the new windows, I do want to take out the subfloor, level the house, and then put new subfloor back in. The reason for that is if I am gonna be tweaking some stuff, I would rather do that before I put in new windows just in case there is a little bit of movement. So then I can square the, the window rough openings and the door rough openings before putting in the new stuff. But I risk if I level the floor with the old windows in, at the very least, I risk making it really hard to get them out. And worst case, I can start snapping some of the rest of the windows that are still in here. Yesterday, I was able to finish getting rid of all the windows minus one. So today, I'm gonna finish getting rid of that one window and then the floor is coming out and we'll see what is lurking beneath. But for right now, this is the last window I need to do. I'm actually surprised. That's the only spider that I've found so far. It is a black widow, but here in California, at least, where I have lived, we have black widows all over the place. And it seems like every job that I do, those guys are everywhere. So one, not so bad. We'll see if there's more in the rest of the boards.
I've been doing a little bit of work off camera because it's pretty boring, but the floors are all being held down by what I think is ridiculous. These big three inch ring shank nails. They hold super freaking well, and that's annoying when you have to pull it up. To get the subfloor off, I had to get the sawzall and cut around all these edges all the way across the floor because it's being held down um, underneath the plate there. I have never done this before, but um, I've been keeping the power off in here just because I have a couple exposed wires from stuff that I've clipped out. But when I do need to run power, like the Sawzall, I turn the power on, I use it, and everything's fine. What I did not realize, there's the power box, and there's a wire that goes down under there. And I wasn't even paying attention, but here's where the wire comes up. And if you want to know what a sawzall blade looks like when you cut through a live wire, let me show you. Looks like this. So most of the blade is fine, but then right up here you can see, and this is a tough blade, but you can see it arced on there and it uh, wrecked some of the teeth right in here. So this part is really dull which is probably the part you use most, um, and also a little bit up here, but anyway, that was fun. So now that all of the giant nails are off, and I've cut all the way around the edges, I should be able to just pop these, I don't know how many, six um, pieces of plywood, um, and we'll see what's underneath. I don't know, it looks like there might be some insulation underneath, based on what I could see around the corner, but that might just be something that they stuffed under. Um, so let's take a look. All the subfloor is off now. Um, as you can see, the insulation, well, there is insulation, that's news. I don't know what condition it is. It might be garbage, but they cut these all different sizes. So what I'm gonna do real quick is just get a Sharpie and I'm gonna number them real fast. That way when, if they do all turn out to be good, I can just come back and put them back in the same order that they were in. That way they all fit perfectly. Well, that's roughly what I figured. If you can see down below, most of the insulation was destroyed and had a bunch of tunnels and poop and random rodent things so out of all these pieces i think there was 22 or 24 i saved that one two three four five out of 22 or 24 pieces which means i'm not going to re-insulate this um i don't think that it's worth the money here um, in such a small space, it'll be really easy to heat, especially if we have the walls and the ceilings all fully insulated. Um, so yeah, time to clean this up.